Hi everyone, back with the uh, Christmas lights project. Um, as if you'll remember from the last uh, video, I got the relay board, but it was way bigger than I thought it was going to be, and so it's not going to fit in that enclosure that I got, that electrical box. So in the interest of uh, moving on with the project, I'll get a bigger enclosure later. I've gone ahead and just remounted everything on uh, this piece of wood here that I had left over from oh, one of my fish tank stand building projects. Um, everything's exactly the same as far as the outlet's concerned. You can see here now uh, that I've got all of the whites connected. Um, so for instance, socket one, white one, down to relay one and this is uh, the common the common side uh, there will be a lead off of here actually that'll be connected to this wire right here on the plug um, that'll be off of here which will give me the common bus so what we've got is I don't know if you can see this or not probably not with the wires in the way. Um, there are three terminals off of each of the relays. Each three screw terminals. I've got the whites from the outlets plugged in each of these is, and each of the relays is numbered. I've got the whites from the outlets, each one numbered with the correct relay plugged into the middle which in this case is the excuse me, the terminal that is connected to the common close. If you can see this down here, there's a little white drawing on the, re on the relay board that shows which side is the common close. In other words, which set of screws is normally connected to each other. So the whites are connected to the middle, which is the center of the common close. The ground bus um, is connected to the common open screw on every terminal. Now, which one the ground bus, bus is connected to doesn't make any difference because they're all connected together. It's just giving a path when the relay flips from these two screws to that to those two screws. That just makes a connection back to the return voltage on the on the source power from the plug. What does make a difference is having the whites plugged into the correct relay on the board. So when I trigger a pin through the Arduino to set a particular relay on or off, we get the right one. Um, so again, I'll back up just a little bit here. You take a look at that from a little ways away. And then I'll get closer and let you have a another look at this. Sorry, I'm trying not to turn this around. I keep forgetting the camera doesn't change the way the video plays. So you can see that they're all connected. This is where the uh, incoming voltage from the power supply for the electric for the for the relays in the Arduino go that's from that and this is where the Arduino will connect to control the various pins or the various relays now the other thing that I've done unfortunately I would have this completely hooked up except that I don't have the screws that I need to mount the Arduino on the LED board to this thing so what I've been doing is I wrote a little test program in the Arduino IDE and we won't go over this I can you know this is pretty straightforward stuff basically it just does a loop that goes through every one of the channels all the channels slash pins and uh, writes an analog value from 0 to 256 or from 0 to 255 to those pins and then loops backwards through them and writes from 255 down to zero to the same pins. Now we can see this in action 
right here. Here's the Arduino. This is the cable that goes to the goes to the relay board. It's piggybacked on the on the cable that I have controlling the LED board. And I have two LEDs in here. Um, I don't know if you can see this on the video. There's one here and one up here that uh, are blown out. So I'm going to have to take the tape off of there and, and replace those. But if you watch, these will get slowly dimmer one at a time. And then they'll go back slowly dimmer one at a time. Or slowly brighter one at a time. This very last one, way over here, this is channel 16. This is the one that is not running on a pulse width modulation pin. So when it gets any value other than zero, it just pops on all the full brightness. So that'll be the, uh, channel 16 will be the channel that is always on or always off. Um, no, no dimming. Um, so next time we should be in a pretty good spot. Next time I should have everything connected and we can actually run the same test program and see how the relays react. They should react the same as these LEDs. It'll be noisier than all get out. Um, I suspect those relays are just going to make all kinds of noise. But uh, we will see you on the next video.